Hey, what's up, everyone? Patrick here at Performance Auto Solutions. I know lately we've been having some compliance issues with Project Green Speed and a lot of the software updates have been going on. One of those key things are air pumps. And if you guys aren't familiar with what air pumps are, one of my technicians and myself are gonna run through what they are, what they do, and how they fail as well. So you have a better idea how to maybe go by your compliance issue and or just your maintenance problems with your Subarus. Come on. Let's talk about air pumps. Top suit software, everybody needs them. If you don't have them on your car, you will need them installed. It's called the compliance package. <laughs> so let's talk about why they're there, first off. Cold start of a vehicle, if anyone's familiar with the carburetor, there is a choke that makes the engine run rich. EPA hates rich fuel mixtures. So what they do is while the ECU is commanding a choked condition, while it's running rich, they take this which is a giant pump that shoots air into this tube, comes back here, these two valves, and injects fresh, clean air into the exhaust runners of the head. And what that does is it just dilutes the rich mixture and tricks any emissions testing. If anybody has a sniffer test, it will trick a sniffer test into seeing an ideal fuel mixture of 14.7 as opposed to perhaps 12.0 that the engine is actually running at. The entire system is just a loophole. Really, it's a bit of a joke. So components of the air pump system. As forementioned, this is an air pump. Simple, two wires, ECU commands it on, and it sucks fresh, unmetered air. It mounts right here, and it shoves that air through this tube. It runs down, and then it splits and goes into each of these valves. Now when these valves open, that fresh air is forced down this pipe and runs directly into the exhaust runners. Here we have the two solenoid valves in charge of the air pump system. And all they are is exactly that. A simple two-wire solenoid valve, which when commanded on, opens this plunger and allows the fresh air to pass through into the pipes, into the exhaust rooms. One is a two wire and one is a five wire. Now Subaru does something weird where they decided to combine your barometric pressure sensor with this secondary air pump valve. There are three wires in charge of the barometric pressure sensor and then just as the other, two wires for the solenoid valve. The barrel sensor is only this tiny little square that's molded into the body of this valve. And that is the only difference between them. And we can go over here, we can bench test one so you can see how it works. And you can take yours apart and see if that's actually your problem or not. So the downfall with these valves is the fact that exhaust back pressure kind of backs up against them and keeps them closed the whole time, which carries moisture. So these have a tendency to become corroded and this valve will actually get stuck so firmly that the solenoid no longer has the strength to open. Now, that was the exact case with this one. I split it open and I pried it open and got it free and now it works. So, we'll go over how to bench test it. You got your ground and that's gonna be to the right of you. I've got my handy dandy jump pack. And then just as the ECU would, if you supply power to the other side, you'll see it open. And that is quite literally all it does. So when this is open, it allows the fresh air to pass through at a pressure that overcomes the exhaust and infiltrates the exhaust system. For lack of better words, yes. Yeah. Infiltrates the exhaust system. Pumps fresh air into here. There's a valve in here that this pipe comes down this side, goes into this head, and this valve opens up, goes into this head. This is for this head, this is for this head. This just happens to have the barrel sensor. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, let's throw it in there since it's already there. Yeah. Cool. 